Hello and welcome again with another video from the Micro Rooster. Today's topic will be information windows. The idea here is that we want to give the user uh, more information than they typically see on the dashboard and we want to make that information hidden and only available upon certain selections or certain criteria. So how do we do that? We can utilize information windows. Let me switch over to the desktop. Over here I'm just going to use a simple dashboard that I've created before for a different demo. Let me go into the web information. So let's do this. I'm going to take this simple report. It has the category sales report and it, notice it has month subcategory, profit, profit forecast, etc. Um, and let's say I don't, I don't want to display these two items by default. So let me go ahead and hide these two items. So I'm going to remove them from the grid okay. and I'm going to view this report. So let's go to editable mode and take a look at the information here. All right, so I do have some information organized, etc. Uh, and now I took the two items that I don't want to show. But let's say I want that information, but I don't want it to be in your face. I don't want it to be on the layout. I, don't, I want it to only show up when the user decides to see that information. So one way to accomplish this is the information window. Let me go back to, I could do it here or I can, actually let's do it in edit mode. Let's insert, insert a panel stack and I'm gonna insert it somewhere. Let's just create it here, then I'll move it around. All right, so add it right here and let's shrink it a little bit and all right so it's a simple panel um, I'm gonna edit the contact for it but let me add actually for simplicity what I could do is I'm just gonna add this guy I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it right inside but this time around I want to only show, let's see which one do I want to show. Let's just show, let me edit, and let's remove from grid. Let's remove all of them except, um, yeah, let's remove even profit, remove from grid. Revenue, remove from grid. Let's see, what am I going to add? I'm going to add profit forecast. And I'm going to add revenue forecast. All right. I'm just going to move it around right here inside. Shrink it here. Make it a little bit longer. Make the graph a little bit longer as well. I want to just be able to see the information. And then I want to go here on the properties of this. This is critical. Now, if you notice here, there's an option under general, use as information. Keep this as automatic. There are a few more options for the mobile and the iPad. So we'll talk about them in a second. But here's the placement is automatic. Now just because we did that we're not done yet we need to decide when does this information show up so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna use this as a selector okay. all right and I'll edit the selector and I'm gonna decide that this will target Okay, so the information window 107. Leave that is probably because I didn't edit this guy. So I'm gonna go to the document structure, make sure I rename it if I want to make sure I know what I'm talking about. Panel stack, 
information window, IW. Okay, and I could hide this. So if I go to the properties here, and I do not want to show the title bar. And one last thing, let's just give this some color so it can stand out. So let's just give it a fill, different fill color. Okay, all right. It's probably too much information here, so I can reduce it. And now let's go and see how this looks in the presentation mode, because that's the only where the place where you will see it. So notice it's disappeared. But let's see what happens when I click. Notice it says for arts and architecture, you got this. You can hide this column as well if you don't want to see it. So anytime I click on one of these items, I should see this moving along. See how neat it is? So what it's doing is saying, okay, here's some information, and if I want to see the fork, oops, I drilled by mistake. Here's the information. And I just have to click on it to see this other information. When I click anywhere outside, it'll disappear. Uh, you can also use this with graphs. So let's go back and edit this a little bit. Let's convert this guy to a graph. And let's see. Let's, go to graph. let's convert this to a graph. I don't care what kind of graph it is, it's just going to leave it at default. Let's go back to presentation. Hopefully, it's not too ugly. There we go. And notice now we still have that information associated. It doesn't change because this is at the um, the subcategory level. Not at it's not broken by the different years. But you could also add that and then add that in the uh, selection options, and then you'll have it broken down or add another attribute here. But anyway, you see how this is useful. All right. So one more thing I want to show you is what if you don't want it to move around you saw how on the graph on the grid it was neatly moving but on the graph it was bouncing from one place to another let's say I don't want it to bounce I want it to always come up right here so what do I need to do and go back here and modify the behavior so I'm gonna go back and properties and formatting you see I clicked on the graph by mistake I need to click on the properties formatting of this guy, not the graph. So and by mistake I dragged it off. So I need to get the yellow colors. So I dragged around the graph versus the panel stack. I need to keep the graph in the panel stack because the graph is not the information window, it's the panel stack. I'm going to click on this blue little surrounding area just to get the properties of the panel stack. And I'm going to do instead of automatic, I'm going to fix it. Also, you can say above, below, left, and right of the item you're selecting. Sometimes with horizontal bars, you might want to use the right. With vertical bars, you might want to use the above so you don't cover the information. But for experimentation, I'm just going to say fix. Always fix it here. Go run this information. Here we go. So every time I click here, I should see a fixed location. There we go. Fixed, fixed, wherever I go. Fixed, fixed, fixed. There we go. All right. And if I click outside, information window disappears. It's pretty actually useful because not only in, you can put grids, you can put graphs, you can put trend lines up here. You can put a, even a gauge widget or whatever you want. You could have text fields, just simple dynamic text information. This is pretty much, if you think about it, as a dashboard within your dashboard. You can have it as big as the whole view. You can have it limited, and you can have multiple 
grids and graphs and combinations. Obviously, the more information you put in it, the less useful it is. You want to keep it as simple as possible so that it's always associated with the information you are selecting. Okay, and let's take a look at those mobile. So remember, I told you there were some mobile options uh, that we did not touch. So for mobile only, meaning they're not going to work in the web. So do you want it to the way it appears when you tap, do you want it to just appear? Do you want it to flip up, scale up, slide? It's up to you. And if you do choose these flip ups, I think slide, slide will let you slide from which part of the screen do you want it to slide, okay? All right, and scale up or appear. You can dismiss only when you close the tab button, meaning see how I said you can tap anywhere. In the web, you can say instead of just tapping everywhere, there's a close button. And then you can display in partial screen per panel stack size on the mobile. This is just allowing you to limit it to a partial display because especially on mobile phones, the, the size of the phone is so small. You don't want it to span, for example, from one side to another. You want it to be squeezed in in a somewhere limited so you want to give it a sliding width and a sliding height so when it comes in slides over it's it's specific to a certain size before it covers everything else that you unintentionally wanted to show reset to first panel when targeted mobile meaning that when you are running it this for the first time you want it to always be at the first panel this doesn't matter if you're only using one panel. If you're using multiple panels, then it starts to matter, okay? But this is, again, a mobile-only feature to which panel do you want it to always open when you're running this uh, information window. That's if you're having multiple panels. Remember, if you do have multiple panels in this information window, then you're going to swipe within the information window. I don't recommend it. It's going to get a little tricky to swipe within the window versus swiping the whole dashboard so you just got to be careful about you how you uh, implement these things to make it user friendly otherwise you have the freedom to do whatever you want all right thank you very much for watching this video